Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the player results section and the tournament results section. So these sections really give access to kind of the foundation of golf stats, and that is our data. If you come up here to our About Us page, you can see the data that we have on the site. We have a PGA Tour results going back to 1970 and performance stats going back to 97. For the majors, we have the Masters back to 1934, the beginning, the U.S. Open to the beginning, the Open Championship back to World War II, and the PGA Championship back to 1916. European results back to 1990, and European performance stats back to 09. We have the LPGA starting in 63, performance stats starting in 09, Champions Tour starting in 1990. And we have over 4,400 player bios. So that's really our database. It's updated pretty much daily. And uh, let me give you a little demo of what's in there. You can get in there two ways, either by player or tournament. So I can pick a player, let's say Rory McIlroy. As you start typing, it will fill in and try to match a player to what you're typing. So when you see one that you're looking for, just click it. And we'll start with their full career and statistics. So what we show here is some basic information about the player, of course, their picture. A bio, if you continue on continue reading, you'll get a complete bio. And we update these on a regular basis uh, for every player in the database. Uh, this is a chart that will show their uh, career, basically. The area in the yellow box is what you're seeing up here. And uh, it starts, goes up to today, back uh, to 2721. So about 12 months of data you see. And you can move this yellow box anywhere within this graph and you'll see the results. This is a graph of all the results for this particular player for Rory. And it'll show tournament. If you mouse over the tournament, it'll show you the tournament name, uh, when it was played, what he placed, his score, uh, and how much money he won. And if you want to look at any of these in detail, if you just then click there, you'll go to that tournament. So that's kind of a summary on the top of their career. Uh, over here are some stats for their career, how many starts they've had. Uh, these might, might not be every tournament they've played. It's only the tournaments for uh, the tours that we cover, which, again, I showed you earlier. Um, and then down here, you can slice and dice it even more. You can look at career totals by year. Like I said, there's a lot of options here to slice and dice the data in many, many different ways. This will show you every year for Rory um, what his performance has been. Uh, and you can sort any of these, um, this, ta this table by clicking on any column. Um, what the yellow and green mean is that it's a way we invented to show for any column which is the high number and which is the low number. And it's just for ease of use. So let's say you wanted to uh, look at this uh, and figure out, well, which year did Rory have the most top tens? It'll instantly show you because it's highlighted in green. You don't have to go comparing number to number. And then it'll instantly show you which is the lowest, which year he had the lowest number. Okay, you can also do the same thing with wins. Let's say you want to know which year did Rory have the most wins. You don't have to look at every number. Just look for the green cell. It'll tell you six. And same way with scoring averages. Any, any chart on golf stats, we uh, use this convention of green and yellow. So you can instantly highlight which uh, year had the hot, which row had the high value, which row had the low value. There's many other ways to look at the data. You can look at their most years that they had the most greens in regulation, career stats, round totals. I'll show you an example. Let's say second round. So this will show you the low second round that Rory has had in his career and when. You can do the same thing final round. Let's say you wanted to look for the lowest final round. That'd be a 61 he shot at the RBC Canadian Open. So all these links down here allow you to look at more detail in the data. Up here, you can go into any particular year for that player, and it's by tour year. So you, if you wanted to go back to 2010, you can see Rory's results, this player's results in 2010. 
We use as many cross links as we can. So this would go to the history of that tournament, the Dubai World Championship for every year, if you wanted to go that. And this will show you Roy's performance in that tournament. And this will go to the tournament results there. It shows you the tour scores, etc. So it's a lot of information on individual players. And the best way to do it is to, again, get a trial membership and then uh, play around with it more yourself. Um, on tournaments, um, let's show you what a tournament. So we'll start with a major, probably my favorite tournament, the Masters. We'll go to the Masters. So we provide extensive information on tournaments. In this case, it's going to show the similar type of chart up on top. It'll show you a window looking at the Masters. Uh, this is going back, what, 24 years we fit on one screen. It'll highlight who they won, and then the uh, height of the chart is the winning score. So you can see when the uh, probably had the highest winning score in this stretch, um, so forth, and the lowest. Again, you can click on any one of these numbers to go to detail on that particular page. And then you can slide this along to look at a different segment of the years. And we go back for the Masters all the way back to beginning. You can let, look at any particular year for scores and prize money. And you can also look at any particular year for performance stats. Now, performance stats is just additional statistics for the tournament. And generally what uh, performance stats provide, and we provide them on a number of um, uh, most all PGA Tour and European Tour events and Champions Tour. Uh, place after round, fairways hit and rank, driving yards and rank, greens, putts, score per hole, and the number of eagles, birdies, par, bogeys, and others. And this would be for, in this case, for the 2019 Masters. Again, you can sort this table just by clicking on the number. So if I wanted to look and see who had the most four fairways hit, in the 2019 Masters, it would be Takumi Kanaya. If I want to look and see who had the most greens hit, be the winner, Tiger Woods by three over Poulter and Justin. So so far, so um, so forth. You can do that as well. Who had the most eagles, birdies, etc. Xander Shoffley had the most birdies in the 2019 Masters. And down here to give, to give an individual um, uh, listing of every tournament, um, and again, tournament records. So tournament records, I can look over here at the most greens and players with the most greens in regulation uh, over the history of the Masters. And in this case, it'd be two. Nolan Henke in 1992 tied at the top. And Dustin Johnson in 2020, most greens in regulation, most greens hit regulation. We have a number of stats here you can look that up for. You can look at the most players with the most rounds under par, most rounds in the 60s. This is an individual tournament. Cameron Smith set that record last year by having four rounds in the 60s. Again, a lot of detail on every tournament. Best bet is to. Um, get a trial membership and play around with that. So that's it for covering the player results and tournament results on Golf Stats homepage. Thanks for watching.